Shalom, brothers and sisters. So there's a lot of people out there that want to tell you there's no proof for God. When God signs his creation in so many ways, in our DNA, laminin, go look it up. When we breathe the name Yahweh on our breath, in and out, every single breath we ever take, the first breath we took, the last breath we take, the yot hey vaf hey of his name, literally the bridge inside our DNA strands holding us together. He has signed his name everywhere and all around us, creation screams that it is created. We have machines in our bodies. They literally look and work exactly like machines. Intelligent design. They know God exists. They're lying and saying there's no proof. The proof is everywhere. And so I will, with short videos like this, share small proofs from time to time to just encourage you in your walk when you bump into these people. And today's one, I want to talk about bees and flowers. I particularly, when I'm relaxing and out and about, I love taking photographs of bees really close up. They're beautiful. I, I absolutely adore them. Um, and I've been chased by them. It's hilarious. I can tell you stories some other time. But bees and flowers, I love taking pictures of. It's just so amazing what God has created. Now, the interesting thing is, and this is what I want to share with you today, bees have a positive charge on their bodies. Flowers carry a negative charge. Now, when a bee comes and lands on a flower, the pollen that he's come to collect literally jumps onto his body because of the negative to positive charge. So it helps him collect his pollen. And when he's done with the flower and he flies away, his positive charge has affected the flower and the flower's charge changes. So when the next bee comes along, it sees that the charge has changed on this flower and there's no pollen to be had. So it moves on to the next one in the field. And this is how the communication between plant and bee takes place and they can clearly see what's happening. That did not just spontaneously occur from a bang of nothingness. That is intelligent design by the God of the universe. And it is right there in front of us in everything. And today's example is a great example of exactly that. We, at our levels of science, and even in previous generations where I believe we were even further along in the times of Noah, we cannot recreate the system between bees and flowers. We can't. And there it is. Design. God is in control. God created everything. Shalom.